Hello and welcome to Daily News Analysis by Abhit Siksha. Today is 3rd of March 2023. Before we begin the news, I would like to extend on behalf of Abhit Siksha warm wishes to all the candidates appearing for HSLC can uh, HSLC examinations, right? And I would also extend my warm regards to their parents and their family members who are awaiting for this examination. So good luck to all the students. So this is the list that we'll be covering today. Right? You can go through this once. So today's important day is today is World Wildlife Day. It is celebrated each year on 3rd March, right? Since 2013, December 20, the 68th session of United Nations General Assembly proclaimed 3rd March as the Convention uh, on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wildlife Fauna and Flora. This is called CITES. So when they signed this one in 1973, on 3rd March, right? So, they proclaimed 3rd March on 2013 as UN World Wildlife Day. Now, the theme is Partnerships for Wildlife Conservation. This day celebrates the beautiful varied forms of wild fauna and flora and to raise awareness, basically, of the benefits that this uh, wildlife provides to people if we conserve them right so this day also reminds us the urgent need to step up the fight against wildlife crime then human induced reduction of species deforestation etc okay from PIB this is from Ministry of Women and Child Development so NCPCR, what is NCPCR? That is National Commission for Protection of Child Rights, right? So this NCPCR is celebrating its 18th Foundation Day, right? With this motto, Empowering Girl Child, right? So NPCR, NCPCR, along with Ministry of Women and Child Development, they have launched this Child Rights Champions World. It is a dedicated feature on NCPCR's website on child rights literacy, right? So it emphasizes the role of men in empowerment and protection of women and girls in a civil society. Okay. The next news from Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. From PIB, so seventh, sorry, fifth Jan Oshadhi Divas was celebrated with this theme, Jan Oshadhi Sasti Bhi Achhi Bhi. So this was the theme for this fifth Jan Oshadhi Divas, right? So what what does all these conferences or this divas do is basically. Uh, they take out padyatras, meaning uh, movements, right? Padyatras basically is just jatras, what we know as jatras, like you know, rallies, right? So this celebration kick started from 1st March in the country, okay? And the idea is to share knowledge, okay? Regarding various schemes related to, you know, uh, Jan Oshadi or traditional medicines, right? Okay. Then from Ministry of Steel, we have this IBM, right? That is Indian Bureau of Mines, not the technological company called IBM. So IBM awards five star rating to NMDC mines. Okay. Why did this NMDC get this award? It is because of their efforts 
and initiatives taken for the implementation of sustainable development framework sdf because of this uh, they have been awarded the five star rating from cci competition commission of india eighth national conference on economics of competition law is starting this national conference has has a plenary session and two technical sessions and the topic is anti trust and regulation interfaces and synergies right so this national conference has been organized since 2016 by competition commission of india also known as cci okay and what are the objectives of this conference they are written here is to stimulate research and debate on contemporary issues in the field of economics of competition law and it is also to develop a better understanding of competition issues relevant to indian context keyword is indian context and to draw inferences for enforcement of competition law in india then from ministry of consumer affairs food and public distribution so this smart pds should be implemented in all states as mentioned by our union minister of consumer affairs now what is this smart pds smart pds stands for scheme for modernization and reforms through technology in public distribution system okay and the department of food and public distribution that is dfpd is coming up with a unified scheme a new unified scheme to strengthen the pds technology so all this use smart pds is using technology plus various you know schemes to make it in one unified form right and the aim of this smart pds is to build an automatic and convenient system to protect the interests of public by countering the malpractices okay and smart pds will also be using ai in artificial intelligence in recognizing a lot of flaws uh, like that so use of fingerprint here as you can read so use a fingerprint on the cards smart ration cards right where all the records of transactions will be based on the person's use right so smart pds you can go through this once then president of india to inaugurate the 7th international dharma dhamma conference in bhopal from today so this 7th international dharma dhamma conference is organized by india foundation in collaboration with sachi university of buddhist indic studies this is related to buddhism okay now what is Sa- sachi stupa known for we know there is a buddhist stupa in sachi so comment down below if you know the answer what is what it was meant for all right then green initiatives in andhra pradesh this is taken from the hindu paper now ahead of global investment investor summit which is going to be held in india in visakhapatnam so bill gates the founder of microsoft is here and he was particularly impressed by this project uh by greenco group in kurnool right so that project is green energy pump storage project right he was particularly impressed with this he took a note of this so what is this green energy pump storage project so this greenco greenco is the company or greenco group is setting up a first of its kind integrated renewable energy storage project in kurnool okay so this project will have the capability to integrate and store renewable energy and the 
project is estimated to be 5200 megawatt project so can you imagine the amount so and the investment also look at the investment here it's three billion dollars right so this project is to be completed by 2024 as per Grinco and Grinco is planning to come up with several pump hydro storage projects across the country to meet the energy demand of the country so this is a very important um, this important project you can go through and you can understand via various media outlets also to know about this and looking at it the bill and melinda gates foundation if they're taking special interest that means it has some speciality right so and we know bill and melinda gates foundation they have been working on empowerment women empowerment and green energy etc so they are particularly interested in this mega project then again from the hindu paper ornamental fish aquaculture to help women in Lakshadweep islands right what is the capital of Lakshadweep can you comment down below capital of Lakshadweep right so this community based ornamental fish aquaculture using local resources is to help women in the Lakshadweep islands towards self reliance okay and they're getting technical support from ICAR, National Bureau of Fish Genetic Resources, NBFGR, right? So this NG, NBFGR, they maintain germplasm resource for marine ornamental organisms, okay? For conservation as well as boosting livelihood sources for the islanders. Now, what are ornamental fish? What do you understand by it? So, this type of ornamental fish, they have a very big market size in the business terms. And they bring a lot of substantial economy, actually, uh, in the area where they are harvesting or where they have this aquaculture, right? And this would benefit particularly the island island union territories or you know bordering the water bodies like ocean and seas the states that are bordering those areas have a huge potential and we know india is very has a very long coast coastline right so that will help a lot of people around the waters you know to benefit out of this aquaculture and go towards self-reliance through these activities okay then from Assam Tribune we took, took this news from the international section so Vo Van Thuong, Thuong has been elected as Vietnam's new president if we have to look with India Vietnam relation uh, we know where Vietnam is it is in the Southeast Asia whose capital is Hanoi right and major sectors of indian investment in the country of vietnam is energy mineral exploration agro processing sugar tea coffee agrochemicals it and auto components right and vietnam has six investment projects in india right with a total investment of 28.55 million US dollars right in where in the sectors of pharmaceuticals information technology chemicals and building materials now we had a very, India has a very long uh, partnership with Vietnam particularly towards you know capacity building and sustainable development goals also you know on the field in the field of socio-economic development right in both the countries not just Vietnam and Vietnam has been a large recipient of training programs and several annual scholarship programs via India. Okay. Then India to host Quad Foreign Ministers meet. Okay. 
from today so we know about god the four nations if you don't know then you are in the wrong place because this is a very important ir topic quad now from quad countries india is hosting the f- the foreign ministers meet okay and they are here in india so the quad meeting will be an opportunity for the four foreign ministers to review the group's initiatives across the indo pacific and the key areas are maritime security health infrastructure projects and connectivity right and they are expected to discuss china's aggressive actions across the region which we all know including the south the south china sea and taiwan strait right and this meeting will help prepare the leaders to be ready for quad leader summit that is to be hosted by australia in the later part of this year okay with this we come to the end of today's news analysis you can study with us join us discuss live uh, through this study circle where we will be interacting with you one on one okay you can come here in our institute and spend 2 hours of glorious understanding and knowledge sharing through this study circle so thank you for joining this session we'll see you soon